Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Southern Grana. My name's Elizabeth. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you watched my vlog that went out yesterday, you know that I had some news to tell you. And um, I was going to record it yesterday and it just didn't work out. So I'm hoping to get this posted today, Saturday, November 16th of 2019. It may have to go up tomorrow on Sunday. I don't like to post on Sunday, but the work will have already been done. So I'm not, you know, upset about that. But I am doing a personal pepperoni pizza chuffle today. But before I do that and reposition my camera so that you can see the work going on, I'm gonna tell you what I've lost. The last vlog, my weight loss journey vlog was number 11 and I had lost 25 pounds. I have lost 30 pounds. When I did the egg fast, I did a three day egg fast. And with that, I could have the eggs done different ways, butter, and then also three ounces of cheese a day. And so I pretty much followed that. I didn't follow it as far as how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do two eggs in the morning and three hours later do one egg, three hours later do two more. I just did it when I was hungry. I, I just, I wasn't that hungry and I ate when I was hungry. All right, so I'm gonna reposition the camera now so that you can see the work that's going on and see how I have everything uh, measured out. I did go ahead and uh, take the pepperonis out. I'm using the large pepperoni instead of the little ones. And according to this, the package, it says that a serving size is 15 slices. I'm not using that many. I'm going to use four on one and four on the other. And I'm not doing a sandwich, a chocolate sandwich. I'm going to do an open face personal pepperoni pizza. All right, and then I have my cheese measured out and you'll see everything in just a moment. I'm going to reposition the camera now. Okay, I've had my egg sitting in the water for at least five minutes to get it room temperature. I could have put it out about an hour before I was ready to make my chaffles, but um, we just got back from the store, so I went ahead and put it in this really warm water to get it room temperature, and it is ready for me to take out. All right, I have my spatula. I have my spatula for my raw egg and I have my spatula for my cooked egg. That way I won't have cross contamination. I have my plate ready. I also have, this is a quarter cup of pizza sauce. I'm going to put my pizza sauce in the microwave when I add the last of the egg for my second chaffle. All right, and then I have my olive oil spray to spritz the inside of my little mini dash. And then I have my cheese, my pepperoni. I've got mozzarella and I've got cheddar. I'm gonna put cheddar on the bottom because I like the way the cheddar does for the, for the chaffles. It gives it a nice little crunch. And then the mozzarella will go on the top. Okay, and two shuffles just takes one egg. I like to use a whisk to mix my egg. It just seems to get it light and fluffy. And now I am ready to spritz my mini dash. All right, so I spritzed my mini dash. And with some cheeses, you don't even have to use the uh, spray because the cheese has enough oil that will allow you to take the chaffle out without the spray. I'm going to add my cheddar cheese as my base. And then I'm gonna try to do half of this. I'm gonna eye it. Okay, and close it up. I have my timer set for three and a half minutes. I will add the pizza sauce to the microwave 
and let it warm up for about maybe 35 or 40 seconds while my second chaffle is cooking. And I do push down on this just a little bit. You can see it, it's raising up. Remember, when you're using a waffle maker, don't pick it up like this. Pick it up from the side because the steam will get you. That is hot. And it looks like I probably put more than half an egg in there. And well, these eggs were pretty large. You could probably use a medium egg. And it looks like it's oozing out over the edge. I want it to get nice and brown so that it will be crispy. That's how I like the chaffles. And like I said the last time, I got my information and I learned a lot from Christy with OK Keto. She really taught me a lot about making chaffles, but I kind of uh, have done, I'm doing the pizza chaffle just a little bit differently than she did hers. She used the tiny pepperonis. I'm using the larger pepperonis and I'm gonna wait until it's almost finished Okay, I'm adding the mozzarella and the pepperonis to the top. All right, it's been it's been cooking for three and a half minutes. I'm not going to let it go too much longer because I want this mozzarella to be soft. Probably about 20 seconds. Okay, I like the way that looks. And I'm going to move this over to my cooling rack. That's another thing that Christy suggests to do when you're making chaffles so that it gets crispy and this is this looks so good so i'm setting it over on my cooling rack and it's going to get a little bit crispy while i do the other chaffle okay Oop, i almost forgot add a little bit of the cheddar cheese and the rest of my egg. I think that time, the first time I put too much egg in there, I'm gonna use my spatula for raw egg. Okay, and I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna close it up and set my timer. Three and a half minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my pizza sauce to the microwave and let it heat up. Okay, I have 35 seconds left, so I'm going to add the last of the mozzarella. And the last four pepperonis. There's only 10 seconds left, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and let this cook for about 20 seconds. Okay, and I'm gonna take it up. using my cooked eggs spatula and sit it on my cooling rack. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug my mini dash. Okay, I added some of the pizza sauce on top of it, kind of covered the pepperonis and the mozzarella cheese, but I added, and that was a quarter cup of, of pizza sauce. That's what the serving size is. I feel like I'm not getting enough fruit 
and berries, nutrition. So I'm gonna eat some, some blueberries. So let's see what this tastes like. It's not bad, that's very good. I get to eat pizza and stay on my keto diet. I'm excited about my weight loss journey. Stay tuned to next Saturday for weight loss journey number 13. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please like this video. Please comment and also select the notification bell so that you will be notified when I post new videos. I'm bound and determined to reach my goal weight as of my birthday next October. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye, y'all.